Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my second YouTube video. So, uh, as you probably know if you follow me on Twitter, I am going to start posting a YouTube video of me unwrapping my wish list items that you guys give me every time I receive 10 items. So, I'm just, if I receive a box from my wish list, I just keep it, don't open it until I get 10 items and then I'll do an unboxing video. So if you guys want to buy me a, an item for my wish list for my next unboxing video, I will put my wish list link down below. And um, I'm also going to include my social media down below so you guys can follow me to know when I'm on webcam or just what's up with my life really. I'm actually a little bit embarrassed to admit that I fucked up. I already recorded this video, then I fucked up because I, I, re I recorded it and I've never used my webcam to record video before and I didn't realize it, but I recorded it all with no audio. So yeah, <laughs> we're doing this again. And since I already unopened all of the presents in the previous attempt to record this video, I'm just going to show you guys what I got this time, but next time I will actually unbox them in front of you. I, I'm having to do this in a hurry because I live in Florida, Hurricane Irma is on its way, and I'm evacuating today. I wanted to make this video really quickly before I have to evacuate. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, for the I got 10 gifts, and the first gifts that I want to show you are actually, I went ahead and put them on. So I got this outfit from my wish list, and now a lot of people, <laughs> I wear lingerie, I think a lot of times more than I wear regular clothes, and honestly, I think that you could pull this off as a regular outfit. I don't know. What do you think? Would you guys wear this in public? Or, like, is this acceptable to wear in public? Because I totally want to wear it in public. I also got these stockings. And they're just, like, kitty cat stockings. You know. Overall, I am in love with this outfit. I, I just love it. Thank you guys for getting this for me. I love it. And speaking of outfit... I got uh, one other piece of clothing, so <laughs> on my uh, webcam stream, on my webcam channel or profile or page, whatever you want to call it, I have recently started cooking. So I told my friends on there, I'm like, you guys should get me some aprons for my wish list. And here we go. Here's one of them. And I love it, and I totally want to put it on and show you. But it's see-through. I mean, maybe I could just try it on really quickly with this under it. Oh yeah, it's going to look a lot cuter whenever I don't wear this under it. I can already tell. But yeah, just imagine see-through. Just one second, I'm going to put this back on. I love this. I really want to wear it today. I'm just afraid that it's too risque. I mean, I don't know. I'm known for wearing like risque things in public. In high school, I always got in trouble for wearing stuff like, you know. One time on the first day of school, of my senior year of high school, I had to wear this huge shirt that came all the way down to my thighs, and on it it said dress code, because I wore a dress with cleavage and spaghetti straps, and nobody could handle it, because it was so hot. So, um, okay, I also do this thing on webcam called uh, Fire Night, and that's where I go outside in my yard I have a fire pit and I just light things on fire I love fire I love playing with fire and I think that you know people who care about my safety they realize 
they're not gonna get me to stop playing with fire. It's just not gonna happen. So, hence this. Somebody was like, Maddie, put a fire extinguisher on your wish list. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Cause I, I have almost caught my face on fire once. I was wearing this mask and I like went to go light the fire and it was like, Phew! and if it caught that mask on fire, my hair would have caught on fire. I, I wouldn't even be recognizable. So yeah, you know, safety first, I guess. And here's another thing that somebody got me for fire night. It's mosquito repellent because uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard this, but I've heard the type O blood type, um, mosquitoes are more attracted to them. And I feel like that's true because I am the type of person that like, I get bit by mosquitoes more than anybody. Like, I will have my legs full of mosquito bites and my friends will be like, oh really? Yeah, I got bit once or twice. And I'm like, oh really? I got bit like 60 times. Here's the next gift that I got. I have a 10 step Korean skincare routine, which I choose to do. Some people think that's a little much, but I don't care, I really like it. So this is just like a little brush that like, whenever you put your cleanser on your face, you know, you can just wash your face off with it. So yeah, that's that. And I actually, I needed one. So yeah, I'm taking this with me when I evacuate. So these gifts were all in one package together from the same person and they're from my friend Jerry. So I have a swimming pool. You can actually see it maybe, but I, I have a swimming pool. Damn it. Well, you can't really see it, I guess, because it's too glary, but I, I'm sure you guys believe me. I have a swimming pool, so I got a pool float. Thank you, Jerry. I love you. And he also got me this pool float. It's a donut. And then in the middle, it's supposed to be this. It's like a, a separate float. So it's like a donut hole. So yeah, he pretty much got me three floats, which I'm going to need if the hurricane blows away my floats. I don't think they will, though. I have a lanai, but it's screened in the something might you never know what's gonna happen like my the screen might break or something here we have japanese candy which is awesome i'm taking this with me i'm really i think that i might make a youtube video of me trying japanese candy just because it's it's like if you're a youtuber and you have japanese candy and you don't make a video of you eating it what are you doing? Okay, you guys. It's time for two of the best gifts that I have ever gotten from my wish list. I mean, I've gotten a lot of good gifts, but this is definitely, these are in the top 10 best that I've ever gotten, I would say. It is a real diamond necklace. I've had this on my wish list for over a year, and someone finally got it for me. It is a real fucking diamond necklace. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Isn't it so beautiful? Look how shiny it is. I'm just so happy with this. This is for sure coming with me whenever I evacuate. I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm putting it on right now. Whenever I opened this, it was like my birthday or, or Christmas. Like it wasn't actually, but it felt like it was. It was like i was so happy so yeah i'm pretty much never gonna take this off i don't think i love it so much last but not least the final gift the biggest gift probably the most expensive this is the versa fook it is a fuck machine <laughs> I have had this on my wish list for like two years and I just got it that's the thing like you never know what you're gonna get really you 
if you put like like me i have so much stuff on my wish list and so much stuff that's been on there for years you know it even though you kind of like know what you're gonna get because it has to be something from your wish list you don't know what it's gonna be if that makes sense that that might have been confusing it's like i guess what i'm trying to say is although you know everything on your wish list people will still surprise you like this diamond necklace this machine this has been on my wish list for years and somebody finally got them for me at the same time like it is just such a huge surprise. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> if any webcam girls are watching this, uh, that, there's just some more advice I guess I wanna give you. If you have a wish list, put things on there that are expensive as a diamond necklace or a $500 about fuck machine and put things as cheap as, uh, you know, where is it? That little brush or like a pool float or, you know, just put stuff for all prices, all price ranges, stuff that are really cheap, really expensive in the middle. Don't only put cheap stuff on there because you don't think somebody's going to buy you something expensive because there will be people who want specifically to buy you something expensive. And if you don't have it available, they won't be able to get it. Uh, that's about all I have for you today, I guess. Um, I'm super excited i guess i'll go over the gifts again just to you know go over all 10 of them and all right <laughs> so we have one japanese candy lingerie diamond necklace stockings cleanser brush uh six fire extinguisher Seven, mosquito repellent. Eight, my floats. Am I missing something? Oh yeah, nine, the maid outfit. And ten, dun 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 dun, dun, dun the Versa Fook. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take a lot of the stuff with me whenever I evacuate for the hurricane because I don't want to take a big fuck machine with me whenever I have limited space in a car. But I'm glad I got to open it before I left because you really, you never know, like with this sort of situation, this hurricane that's coming, I don't know if it's going to hit like me really hard or my house really hard. I don't know what kind of damage there's gonna be. It could be really bad. It's looking like it might be really bad. So yeah, I, I really wanted to open all this stuff up before I have to leave. Like literally as soon as I cut off this video, I'm gonna go pack and leave. Like it, I'm gonna be out of here in like an hour. So this is kind of a last minute thing. All right, so like I said, um, well, if you guys want to get me anything for my wish list, whenever I get 10 more items, I will open them. Um, my wish list, I will put it below. I will also put all my social media below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like if you want to, if you like this video, which I mean you should because why not? I will uh, keep you guys informed on how I'm doing um, with the evacuation. I got some extra gasoline just in case uh, there's huge lines at the gas tanks or anything on my way out of here. I mean, like all of Miami, I believe, is evacuating and the Florida Keys. So the roads are going to be packed. And if you just check my Twitter, I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah. I'll try to post this video as soon as possible. Actually, by the time I post this video, I'll probably already be in North Carolina because I want to edit it a little bit. I will probably try to make another video whenever I'm visiting North Carolina um, in the next few days. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>